So let's learn how to draw free body diagrams. We're just going to call that FPDs. Now, first of all, what are FPDs? Well, um, so FPDs aim to study any object. And this object, for example, could be okay, a, a little rock or mass on an incline, for example. Okay, and an FPD shows all okay, the forces that act on the object. Okay. Now, so typically, the forces that we will be putting in our FPDs in A-levels include the following. Okay, usually there's almost always a weight. Okay, there's always, almost always uh, normal contact forces. Okay, if there are strings involved, there would be tensions. And of course, sometimes it's friction. These are the four common ones. So you can get other forces like, like uh, up thrust or drag. But you have to really look at the situation. So... Analyze this object. So first of all, of course, it has a weight. Now, when you draw your force arrows, they always have to originate at the point where the force acts. So for example, the weight, of course, has to act from the center of gravity. And so that's your weight, FW. Okay. And let's see, is it touching anything? Well, absolutely, it's touching the surface. Okay. So the contact, normal contact force, of course, will act uh, over here at the point of contact between the mass and the slope. Okay, so it goes something like that, right? And I presume if this rope, uh, if, if this slope is rough, there will probably be some friction acting here on the surface like so, okay? And uh, it should be acting like this. Any other forces? Uh, not any obvious ones, okay? Now, of course, okay, the other thing that we have to be very careful of when we draw FPDs is that the lengths of these arrows need to be reflective of the relative magnitudes of the force. So for example, if this uh, this mass over here was in equilibrium, if I put these three forces in a vector triangle, they should close up. So for example, FW should be something like that. Okay, your friction should be something like that. And your normal should be something like that. So I think I've got the arrow somewhat quite okay. All right, so this is an FPD, right? It is of course very useful to analyze the forces acting on an object.